Oh boy! I think it's time for something, boys. <sighs> hey, review family, keep it like you type. My name is Jay Morris, a review guy, and I'm back again to bring you another video. Welcome back to my series, Track Review, the series in which I review tracks. And today I'm going to be covering the newly released Bring Me the Horizon track featuring Danny Filth entitled Wonderful Life. So this was definitely a nice little surprise. I'm a big Bring Me the Horizon fan if you guys didn't know that. And this is obviously their second single for their upcoming album Ammo, which will be released uh, January. I know it got pushed back. It was originally supposed to be released, I believe, January 11th. But it got pushed back to the 25th for unknown reasons. And this kind of comes right after their track Mantra, Mantra, however you want to say it, that released earlier not too long ago. I was surprised to see this track released so soon. But the thing about that is, if you were around when That's the Spirit was kind of being hyped up and stuff, uh, they released quite a few singles for that. That had a lot of singles that came out before the album was released, so I'm not really worried about it. And something else that is worth pointing out is the fact that we actually got the track list for the album too. So expect a video sometime in the coming week or so, me just going over some of the titles, some of the stuff, and definitely going by the length because it's going to be a 13 track album, so that's awesome. This was a pretty good song, I'll be straight up. It sounds like something off of That's the Spirit. Um, something I've noticed after hearing Mantra is that they are most certainly going for more of a new metal sound and more of a sound that goes in tune with their tracks, maybe Happy Song or Blasphemy from That's the Spirit, their 2015 album, their last album, and that's not necessarily a bad thing because Happy Song was an, a song that a lot of people did dig. And the thing about Bring Me the Horizon is they seem to also be going down a road of kind of bridging the gap between accessibility and heaviness, and that is a lot more prevalent on this track, in my personal opinion, than Mantra. Especially considering the fact that they have Danny Filth on it, the Cradle of Filth lead singer, which is not a collaboration that I would have expected, but more on that later. Ollie's vocals sound really good on this track. I think that especially in the chorus, he sounds powerful. He sounds, he's hitting some much higher, angrier notes than pretty much ever before. Kind of reminds me of something similar to Doomed from, um, from That's the Spirit. I think it sounds a lot like that. And in the chorus and the bridges, I feel like he stays a bit more on pitch than some of kind of his half singing, half spoken word parts. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's something that he did on Mantra. And I'm wondering if this is something that they're going to be doing more on the album, this kind of half speaking, half singing type of style. I'm not that big of like an adversary to it, but I'm not that huge of a fan of it either. But I'm neither here nor there. I don't really care. I just kind of, it's something to point out because it's dif it's different. It's interesting. So this track is four minutes, 34 seconds, which beats out Mantra that was in like the three minute, 50 second mark, three minute, 53 seconds, I'm wanting to say. So it's a longer track and the lyrics seem to deal with kind of a lack of self-worth or self-deprecation, maybe depression, suicidal thoughts. It's, it's hard for me to pin down what these lyrics are about, but they are very... Um, they're very, like, on the surface, but hard to discern exactly the stem of what they're going for. But if you are, like, having trouble with mental issues, I feel like you can relate to this song. And it's, the lyrics, they work out pretty well. And I think that Ollie's voice really does suit the type of lyrics that are on this song. The instrumentation really does sound like it is kind of new. It sounds a lot like Mantra, honestly. It sounds a lot like Mantra. And it's, it's a new sound. It's not something that I've heard from Bring the Horizon before. Like I said, it's kind of comparable and it's the equivalent of maybe a happy song or a blasphemy off of their album, That's the Spirit. But it's still new. It's nothing that we've heard before. And I, I like that. I like the fact that it's brand new. I like the fact that it's kind of pushing boundaries for the band and is going in new, like, new directions. And like I said earlier, it really is kind of accessible. I could hear this played on the radio. I could hear Mantra played on the radio. But it's not too heavy to the point to where you can't play it on the radio. But it's heavy enough to where if you like heavy metal, you're going to like it. It's kind of a mixture of maybe a little bit of kind of alternative rock, alternative metal. They're moving more into that type of direction, kind of like a new metal. Not like old new metal. Not We're not talking like 2000s Slipknot and Limp Bizkit and Linkin Park new metal. We're talking more recent new metal bands, uh, new metalcore bands exactly. Um, a lot of bands that are going for that sound kind of reviving new metal in a lot of ways. More similar to that than the early wave of new metal. A complaint that I kind of had regarding Mantra and a complaint that I have with this track as well is that they build up a lot in the last leg of the track, but then it just kind of goes right into a chorus again, which is something that 
this is um this is something that's typical of mainstream music so i can't really complain about it that much it's just that i wish that they would maybe go in more of an experimentation type of side of things when you're building up at the end and you have this huge climax this huge crescendo coming and nothing happens uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I, I, I want to feel a bit complete when it comes to the end of a song and when you're building up, 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 and up, and then you just have a chorus and it drops you, it doesn't really feel the best. And that's something that I felt a lot with Mantra as well. And unfortunately, it's something that I felt with this track as well. Another thing that I kind of have to point out is the fact that um, Danny Filth's feature, it doesn't feel important at all. He sings in this kind of lower raspy type of tone, almost kind of like Trent Reznor type of but he has more like he kind of sounds like the lead singer of ghost i'm not sure of his name because i don't like ghost but uh kind of sounds like that kind of you know how in the song rats by ghost the rats kind of like that the kind of raspy type of rolling r's type of singing and he sounds creepy i like his voice kind of when i saw danny filth on the feature i was hoping it might go in more of a heavier turn but I was kind of let down a little bit by that, and I'm not going to be someone that's going to be like, oh, if it's not heavy, it's not good. I just feel like his feature was a little bit wasted, in my opinion. I, I feel like it's, his feature sounds a lot like Ollie does in the earlier sections. Obviously, they have separate voices. It's just Danny's, didn't, Danny's feature didn't feel like it added all too much to the song, and I kind of wish he maybe would have done a little bit more. His tone, I wouldn't call it monotone. It had some emotion. It had some charisma to it. It just didn't blow me away in any way, and when you are bringing to the horizon, when you have a kind of strange feature like that, I kind of expect that to be intriguing. I expect it to be a little bit over the top, and for me at least, that didn't that didn't happen with this feature. But overall, if you were a fan of That's the Spirit, especially Happy Song and Blasphemy, I feel like you're gonna like this. I liked it okay. It's it's not definitely not my favorite Bring Me the Horizon song, and I don't even think that it's necessarily as good as a Blasphemy or a Happy Song. Or even a mantra, I, I think I like mantra more, even still. And mantra was, I was very excited about that track when it came out, if I remember correctly. In my review of it, I think I said a lot of good things about it. But as it's gotten to simmer and settle a little bit, I kind of want to make a separate video about that. But I'm not digging these, these singles as much as I thought I would from Bring Me the Horizon. And it's just because I don't think their sound is going in a direction that I, I think is necessarily wrong for the band. I just don't personally feel like I like it all of that much. I feel like I wish it would do more, and for this track to sound so much like Mantra that it's not even funny, but a lesser version of Mantra with a fairly mediocre guest feature, not saying Danny Filth is um, mediocre, I'm saying that I believe that his feature in particular was mediocre. The vocals at times can sound a little bit weird at the start. Like I said, I'm not really big on the fact that the chorus was just repeated at the end instead of doing something else. And I don't know. I'm I'm iffy. I'm iffy on these singles, man. I I don't know. Maybe maybe my opinion will change, but we'll go over that when we talk about the track listing and my thoughts on the like upcoming album, all that. But anyways, guys, I'll post the song in the description below if you want to go listen to it. There's a lyric video out with some nice little graphics and Jordan with his uh, child and Danny filth dressed up in his getup. And it's it's, pre it's a pretty fun lyric video, I gotta say, if you want to listen to it and come back and give me your thoughts. But anyways, guys, I will talk to you guys next time. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. See ya. My name is Jay Mercer of you guys, and I'm signing off saying farewell.